Okay, I'm doing a little how to sew tutorial so the next time I go to sew I remember how to do it. Uh, first of all, I'll go over some of the parts of the sewing machine. Um, this obviously plugs it in. This goes out to the plug and then to the foot pedal. This basically so you can manually turn um, the sewing needle. There's a little lock on here which you can lock and unlock. Uh, basically unconnects the motor. So if you just spin this like this, that spins the motor. But the little lock on the inside, the little knob that locks on the inside here, locks and you turn it and it locks the motor to the actual uh, turning mechanism of the sewing machine. Okay, so then we got, um, obviously this is a little spool for the th where the thread goes. This is a little thing that um, goes for uh, loading the bobbin, which we'll go over in a minute. This is the controller that controls how fast the thread goes. In other words, how far apart the thread is from one stitch to the next. One is um, close together and four is far apart. The button in the middle is to reverse the stitch. If you're in the middle of stitching, you push that button in and it, it backs it up. Uh, this on the other hand is how wide the stitch is. So this basically zeroes in a straight line and as you go forward it zigzags uh, more and more back and forth. Um, this left and right, basically, if the stitch, if you want the stitch either to the right or the left of the center. Okay, so um, so here's your different uh, stitching patterns um, using these different knob combinations. Okay, um, over here, this is basically where we're going to have the bobbin case, right down in here. Um, we open up this and you can see where um, all the mechanism is, mechanism is for, for putting the needle through. Um, this is the thread tensioner, which we'll get to in a minute. Let me just go through real quick. Um, this is where the bobbin goes. You can see this pretty good. Let's zoom this in a little bit. Right, we'll zoom down and over. Okay, put that right in here. Okay, so basically the way these parts work is this thing pops right out of here. So I'll take this up so that I can put the needle out of the way. Pops out of here. And this pops out of here, okay. So the way these parts all go together, we'll go to that in a second when we're done, when we're threading the needle. It comes out of there. That comes out of there. Okay, so as far as the parts that go in here, the way this all goes together, as you can see when this moves up and down, it spins like that, okay? So the way these parts go in is as follows. Okay, so this piece right here goes in opposite that little, that little thing in there, goes in like that, okay? That goes in there. This little case, this little cover, goes in with this orientation facing up. Sometimes you may have to spin this to get it to go in. And that goes in there like that. Then these two little levers lock that in place. Okay. Now the bobbin casing, that goes in uh, after that. You put your bobbin in here and we'll show you how to th thread that properly later. But the bobbin casing goes in here with the little notch goes into that notch up in the top. So it basically goes in there like that. And later on we'll show you how to get that thread back up into the case and that closes like that. As far as the other parts go, um, basically we got the foot right here. And to bring the foot up and down there's a lever on the back. This brings the foot, oops. This lever on the back brings the foot up and down. And as you can see as I move that little lever up and down, the foot goes up and down. That's just so you can bring your material in and out um, when you're stitching. Let me back this up a little bit again now. Whoops. Okay, good. So, so there's uh, those parts. Here's the different mechanism how it works as far as um, how the that goes up and down. This device right here basically controls the pressure at which the um, the thread goes down on so the more the more you push down on this the more pressure it puts down on the, the material so basically if you're doing thick material 
I use it down a lot, so I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But uh, when I'm going through thick material, I push that down all the way. Uh, if you rotate this up and lift the foot up, the foot can actually pop off like that. You push this little this little thing right here, and it pops the foot right off. There's a couple different feet, but I pretty much really only use the regular everyday foot. Um, the needle right here goes in here. There's a little knob on the back that controls the needle. Uh, really important is that the needles be really straight. If your needle gets bent or if it's loaded incorrectly, um, you're going to get all kinds of tangling on the underneath side. Okay, good. So, that's basically parts of the sewing machine. Okay? So, what we're going to do next is we're going to go over a little bit of how to do, how to thread the bobbin and how to thread the needle into the machine and then how to sew. Okay? Part two. Okay, now we're going to start working on um, threading a bobbin. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to take this little bobbin right here and we're going to put thread on it so we can put it down into the bobbin case down in here. So a little trick to getting the, to getting the thread on here, the little that pops out of there like that, okay? We're going to take our thread, okay, and we're going to feed it. And this is a little uh, bobbin tensioner, I guess you call it. And it feeds through this little, underneath this little tensioner thing. And then what you do is you pop it up under through the hole right there. Okay. So it comes up. Go like that. Pop this thing over the side like that. And what that does is when you start to run the, um, the machine, it'll start winding, it'll start winding the bottom as you can see. Starts to, starts to wind the bobbin, okay? So what I can do with this little piece at the top here now, I can actually just cut this off. If I have a razor blade, huh? Cut this off now. I'll do it with my scissors. Cut that off. And I'm not sure why that happened. It's just, okay. So we basically we're gonna keep, keep doing this. And this is going to wind on the bottom. And as you can see there, it's winding the bobbin, taking the thread off of there, winding the bobbin. It's using this little tension thingy right there to keep it tensioned as it's winding it. Okay, so let me stop. We got enough thread on there for right now. Okay, so now we got a bunch of thread on our bobbin. Pop our bobbin off. Okay, then we're gonna take that, we're gonna cut our thread. So now we have our bobbin, okay? Okay, so the next thing we gotta do here, I'll do this down so nice and nice and see you can see it. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna put our bobbin into the little bobbin case. Okay, so we're gonna put our bobbin in the bobbin case so that it goes clockwise. So when you pull the thread, it goes clockwise. So we're gonna pop it in here like this. There's a little slot right here. So you can see we pop it in the slot, okay? And then you pull it back. So it goes into the notch, it goes into that little notch right there. Hopefully you can see that, it goes into the notch. And so now when we pull our thread, it pulls the thread and spins it clockwise. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so there's a little trick here. There's a little, there's a little uh, set screw right here, a little, little screw that cr creates bobbin tension. So clockwise creates more bobbin tension, counterclockwise is less bobbin tension. And you want enough tension on this so that um, when you're sewing, the, it doesn't clump up underneath. I can't think of a better way to explain it than that. So, so anyways, right there we got our, our bobbin loaded in our um, our bobbin case. Okay, so I'm gonna back this up again. And we're gonna show that's just gonna pop right into the bobbin case down here, like I showed you before. Just goes pops in there like that. Pops in, gets in there like that. Okay. 
So our bobbin and thread are in there. So now what we got to do is we got to run through how we thread, and this is the critical part, so how we thread our um, thread into the sewing machine, okay? Okay, so we take our thread from the spool, okay? We take our thread from the spool here. Okay, you can just barely see that. Okay, let me pop it up a little bit. Take our spread up from the spool there. And we're gonna run that around this little notch right here and then down the notch right here, okay? So it's gonna go down, okay? I'm gonna bring this in nice and close so you can see it, yeah? Okay, so it goes down. It's gonna go inside this little spool right here. And all you have to do is follow this little diagram right here and it tells you exactly how to spool. So it's gonna go down under this little tensioner. Okay, it's gonna go through the tensioner. Okay, and now there's a little notch right on the back side of this tensioner here, right here. It's important that it goes back up into this little notch right in here, okay, and then goes back down under this little spring, okay, it goes back under the spring, and then it goes up into this little notch, and then it's going to go into, let's pull this to the top, it goes into this right here. You just thread that like that. Okay, I'm going to pull a little thread through there. Okay, it comes back down and it goes through this little thing right here. Hopefully we can see all that, no problem. Put some light on there, it goes through there. Cuts into that little that little thing right there. Okay, then you got to feed it through this little hole right here. Okay, and then it goes through the needle from front to back, okay? So it goes from the needle, front to back. And then, boy, they were nicely fed through. So we got the horrible needle fed through, and that goes through the teeth and then under through the back, under under the back of the machine right there, okay? So then we got, so let's see if we can see this pretty good here now. Okay, good. So that's all threaded through there, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to pull the, the back thread, how to pull this back thread up through and get it up on top because we're going to need to get that up on top, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to manually turn it and you'll see it'll actually pick the thread up, okay? So we're going to turn this down, okay, and it goes down, it pulls the thread down, and then when, when it pulls the thread down, you pull on this thread and now it has pulled that lower thread through. You just run, run, run it once, and so now you got two threads. You got one coming from the bottom bobbin case, from below, and then you got another thread coming from the top. What you do is you swing both threads underneath to the back, and then you can close this again, okay? Okay, good. Now let's back this up again a little bit. Get some light in here. Okay, good. Let's turn it back so we can see the whole machine better. Okay, so now we're ready to sew. Okay, so to sew, all you do is you take some material here. You take some material, let's say we want to sew across this material from edge to edge. Okay, you take your material and you stick it under the foot and then you clamp the little foot down. Now we have both our threads going out the back. I'm going to push this down all the way. I'm going to control this so I want a little bit of a zigzag back and forth. And I want uh, like you know, some medium stitch, like two right there, okay? So I'm going to start to hit the foot pedal. I know it will start sewing, okay? So then you can see here, as I, uh, let's zoom in here so you can see this. I keep saying you because it's just really basically going to be for me. Okay, so as you can see, I'm zooming in there. You can see it starts to go back and forth. So it's a stitch. As you can see, I'll pop the foot, pop the foot up so I can see the material. I gotta rotate, rotate the, the machine with by hand. By hand, so I can pop that up. Okay, you can see that. So now the foot's up. I rotated the needle out of the way. Now I can pull the material out, and as you can see. I put a little stitch right there. Let's see if we can see that pretty good. 
pulled a little stitch right there. And we check our stitch on the back to make sure our stitch on the back looks pretty good. And so far, so good. Um, and that's basically how you make a stitch. Oops, I want to do that. Okay, so well, basically once we pull the material out, we just cut the thread, cut the thread here, cut the bobbin thread here. Okay, we got our material. We're getting ready to set up for another stitch. Bring this one up underneath, bring that to the back. Get both of the threads to the back. Get ready to stitch again. Bring the foot down like that. Let's say this time I just want to do a straight stitch. So let's see if I turn this back again a little bit. Straight stitch, nice and close. So I'm going to put this to zero. I'm sorry, this to one. I think zero doesn't move at all. Put this to one and this to one so that it'll be a nice straight stitch. I think on this one actually I can go to zero. I mean it'll be straight, straight in a line. Well, let's see how that goes. Okay, so again we've got the foot down, got a material in there. Go back and forth. You do have to help feed the material through. If you don't pull it a little bit, it'll it'll start catching up on itself. Okay, so you do the stitch, you rotate the needle up into the highest position, move the foot up, you slide that out. Okay. Cut that, cut that, and you can see it's it's pulled. Okay, so there's a couple things that we can control here. One is this dial right here. Oops, keep doing that. This dial right here is the thread tension. It basically it's how tight the thread is pulled as it's as it's sewing. We're gonna pull the tension back just a little bit so it doesn't put as much tension on it. And we're gonna go through and throw some more stitching on there. Again, we put our foot, put our foot underneath, bam that down there like that. This time I'm gonna go a little bit more of a zigzag this time, go up to two, and we're gonna move it. Okay, more zigzag is down here, uh, wide is down here, and this is the speed. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start sewing. Going along, it's pulling the material along nicely in a nice zigzag. This is where, at the end of the stitch, I wanna make sure it's nice and reinforced. I can push this little, I can't really see that, can I? Push the little button over here right here, and I'm gonna push this little button, okay? And this will make the stitch back up. Goes backwards, now I let go of the button, it goes forward. What this does is it makes a really strong reinforced stitch where it's stitched over itself several times. To take the material out again, I raise it to the height, pick up the foot, and you can see here, pull this out, boom, boom. And then you can see here that the, uh, can you see that pretty good? Where it stitched along a nice little zigzag and it got to here where we went back and forth over it many times. And see the stitch isn't quite as tight as it was when I was first starting to work with it. You can see it can, can get a little bunched up there in the back when you go over yourself, when you go over your own stitch too much. But you can see this is the zigzag, a light zigzag. This is the inline stitch where it was really tight and not very fast makes a really tight stitch and then this is the first zigzag that I did. And you can see on the back, the stitches should be nice and tight on the back. I'm using a really, really thick canvas material here with a really super thick thread. I don't really do clothes and stuff like that. I just do projects and cases and things like that. So, okay, and that's basically, uh, I think, the whole tutorial on how to use uh, my sewing machine.